So if you're an English teacher or you have anything to do with creative writing, then you're going to want to take a look at the Text Effects project by Google. It's a really useful tool to help you with creative writing and to help students expand their vocabulary. Let me show you what it does. If you go to textfx.withgoogle.com, you get to this page here. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and click on Launch Text Effects. When the site launches, you have all the tools that are available to you across the top here. I'm not going to do all of them, I'll just pick a few to show you sort of examples of how they work. So let's start with similes. You enter a thing or a concept in the box here. So I'm going to enter water, I'm going to click on run, and then down the bottom here, it'll give you the top result, and then click view all, and you get a whole load more. So lots of similes that describe water. Next one I'm going to look at is POV, so looking at different points of view. I've typed in here riding a bicycle, I'm going to click on run, dangerous but a lot of fun. Top creation is there, I'm going to click on view all, and again there are 23 different things that explain bicycle in different ways, take a look at those, um, see what you think. Next one I'm going to look at is unexpected, so maybe you're going to type in here a scene, so walking through a wood, let's click on run, walking through a wood that is made out of giant marshmallows. Let's click on view all. There's eight different ideas here. Walking through a wood that is full of rainbow colored trees. Now what's quite cool about these, again, if you're a teacher, maybe you could use some of these as story inspiration, as story starts. Let's give the students that first line. Walking through a wood that's full of rainbow colored trees and can the students go off now and write a descriptive piece that take that concept and run with it. Another tool is Fuse. So you enter two things and try and find the intersection between them. So I'm gonna type in here in library and a graveyard click on run and here we go here's our, again a top hit a library and a graveyard can be places of quiet contemplation and reflection click on view all and there are different ways of finding an intersection between a library and a graveyard and finally uh, sensory details about the scene so let's have a beach at midnight let's click on run the smell of salt and seaweed view all the sound of waves crashing against the shore uh, the feel of cool sand between your toes. Lots of nice descriptive phrases here. There are some other tools in here as well, but I'll let you go away and have a play and explore those for yourself. But for a free resource, if you're looking for something to help with uh, language work, particularly say for teachers, but also if you're if you're a writer, a creative writer, and just looking for some other ways of, of phrasing something or looking for some inspiration, then maybe you can find this uh, as a useful tool as well. But definitely, English teachers will find something like this quite useful as a, as a fun tool to either use yourselves or to use with get students to use. So the website again is TextFX and the web address is textfx.withgoogle.com. I hope you found that video useful. If you want to subscribe to be alerted to more videos like this, then please do. I'll be back with some more videos in the future. Thanks very much for your time. Cheers. Goodbye.